<laughs> oh, you know I'm going to talk about this. <laughs> it's going to blow you away. And I'm going to say it right there. This word. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the show. So, <laughs> I'm going to do an FDR impersonation. <laughs> Yesterday, two years ago, that thug, that criminal, that knucklehead, that scum, George Floyd, Now, here's a really stupid idea that they did in Houston. They spent taxpayer money for a freaking statue of a career criminal. A career criminal. There are statues all over the country, but here is none statue of four brave Americans that served their country in Benghazi. None. There are no statue of the 13 brave Americans that were killed in Afghanistan. And now I heard, let's go Brandon and Brock Hussein Obama signed a bill for George Floyd. And they brought out the kid, his kid, yeah. Hey kid, are you happy that your father was a career criminal that made a mistake? <laughs> Okay, we're <clears throat> so we're in a crisis here, ladies and gentlemen. Gas prices are up, food prices are up. They can't find baby for baby food for the babies. You had a a nut go into an elementary school and shot nineteen pe oh, twenty one people, nineteen of them are kids. And yesterday, they had a press conference signing a stupid law, executive order, stupid law, that went against police officers trying to do their jobs. Now, let me get this straight. What the police officers... I guess George Floyd, what they did was wrong. But, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. If George Floyd wasn't high on drugs, he'll be alive today. If he did not pass out counterfeit money in the convenience store, he would be alive today. If he did not resist arrest, he would be alive today. But no, drive-by media, Democrat parties, and this dumbass, sorry my language, dumbass administration are going to salute a career criminal. It sickens me to the core. It sick you, 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 Democrat party. Drive by many. You disgrace yourself. You disgrace the four brave Americans that sacrificed their lives in Benghazi. And you also disgrace 13 brave Americans that were killed by a terrorist attack in, Beg in, in Afghanistan. And you won't say anything about it. You guys are going to lose the election in November. And I know for a fact you're going to lose in 2024. I'm out of here.